Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So I've been a little bit busy in between episodes. I came over here to a mountains area and then I've dug all the way down to bedrock and set up this beacon. And I've been mining around here. I'll actually go up to the top where I've been mining at the moment. You can see it just here. So I've mined out all of this area. And the top block, like the block right in the roof there, is the highest block that emeralds can spawn. And I've come over here mostly looking for emeralds. So that's why I've been mining up here, which is a little bit higher than I would usually mine. I actually did this on the other world as well, but it's a little bit different this time because there's all the new blocks in the game now. So I can get all of the deep slate ores as well. And then there's copper in the game. And this is all of the blocks that I've managed to get so far. I think 12 emeralds is quite good as well, considering I've not actually mined too much area. I'm going to be doing a lot more mining in this episode. And then I managed to find one emerald deep slate. And that's the most important block right now. And the reason for that is because apparently in the 1.18 update, which is technically part 2 of the 1.17 update, this block will no longer exist or generate in worlds. So you can only find it before 1.18. And if I want to find a stack of every single item, that means I need to get a stack of it before the 1.18 update comes out. And there was actually two other blocks that were existing 1.18 as well. I think it was Iron Deep Slate and Copper Deep Slate or something like that. I can't actually remember both of them. But I'm going to have to collect a full stack of each of those items before 1.18 comes out. So that's why I've been over here doing this mining at the moment. But right now I'm doing it a little bit higher up. But once I've done up there, I am going to come 7 blocks below this. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'll be doing some mining on this uh, level as well. And I'll dig all of this out in that direction, in each direction. And get all of the emeralds. And then I'll come down here as well, 7 blocks below, which is about here I think. And then I'll be mining on this level as well in all 4 directions. There's actually a little bit of iron deep slate here, which is one of the blocks that I need. So I am going to be doing a lot more mining in this episode. And then later on in the episode, I want to finish the storage room. And then add all of the new blocks to the checklist. So that's a plan for today. But I've actually run out of shulker boxes at the moment. So I've been storing all of the blocks over in these shulker boxes. And then once they're filled up, I just put them in here. And I've actually kind of run out. This is all of the ones that I've got left. And I'm going to need a lot more than this. And you can see that I've got 8 at the bottom as well. And these are all of the elytras and the dragon heads that I got last time as well. I think what I'm going to do is just go to the end for like an hour or two. I should be able to raid like 10 end cities in that time. We'll get all of the shulker shells. I'll get a few more elytras and dragon heads as well. And then I'll come back and then I can continue to gin because I'll have plenty of spare shulker boxes. Okay, I'm back and I'm stocked up on shulker shells again here. So I've got almost three stacks overall and then I've still got eight in this chest here. And you can see the six extra elytra that I got and the six extra dragon heads as well. So I'm pretty sorted on all of this stuff at the moment, but I probably will have to do another end raiding session in another few weeks. And I did a little bit more mining when I got back here. So I've dug a little bit on this level, I found a few emeralds. And I think if I head up here, I did a little bit more mining as well. Uh, maybe not actually, I'm not entirely sure how big this area was before. But I definitely got a few more of the ores if I just head to this chest. You can see that I've got a little bit more of the iron deep slate. And then I've got like three more emeralds as well. And I'm also hoping that I can find some of the deep slate diamond ore. Apparently that's very rare at the moment. But I've not found any of that, I've only found one of the emeralds. I don't know what other of the ores I haven't found. Uh, deep slate copper, I've not actually found any of that yet here. So hopefully I can find some of these and then I can add them to the checklist later on. And then I can start collecting all of these items to check off the checklist at some point. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is just keep mining all of the area out. So all of the area down here on the level above and then the level above that as well. 
I'm just going to mine as much as I can in each direction until I run out of the beacon range. I've got all of my pickaxes in here. I repaired these all a few episodes ago and then I've started using them again. I actually broke one when I was digging out the slime farm. But that's not really a big deal, they're quite easy to make new ones because I've got all of the villagers. So yeah, I'm just going to get to digging in each direction as far as I can. I'll come back soon and I'll show you all of the ores that I managed to get. It's a few hours later and I've been quite busy and I just thought I'd start off by showing all of the area that I've dug out so far. So this is up on the top layer and this is down to the second layer and these slimes have actually been doing my head in, I've killed so many of them. But this is down on the second layer and then if I jump down again this is the bottom layer. I did actually want to dig more in this direction but there's loads of lava over here and then there's also some lava here. There's more lava on this side over here as well. And then there's more lava up here. So it's been so annoying digging down here, I just decided to dig in the other direction instead. So this is all of the area that I took out on the other side. I did actually find a few deep slate emeralds, but not too many. Uh, they're in this chest right here. So I've got four overall. It's not the best return. I think if I dig a little bit more in each direction, I should be able to get at least like 10 or 20. But for right now, I've only got four. And you can see all of the other deep slate ores that I managed to get. I think I managed to get some of every single one apart from the diamonds. I got 16 regular diamonds, but no deep slate diamonds. Apparently those are extremely rare though. It's like 10 times more rare than regular diamonds. So that's why I didn't find any of them. The rest of the stuff doesn't really matter too much, but I did get this copper, which is going to be useful just to try out all the new blocks and stuff like that at some point. So I'm going to start taking this back to the base. And I've also got some shulker boxes over here full of all of the blocks. I think I've got one of them full of the deep slate cobblestone. It's this one here. And then I've also got a little bit over here as well. And I'm going to be using this to do the ceiling of my storage room pretty soon. And one final thing that I'll show is the pickaxes. I don't know if I showed this earlier. But I think I used about three or four of these. I also used my um, fortune pickaxe a little bit. I was using this to get the cobble deep slate, but I just had to make sure that I didn't destroy any of the ores. So I had to be a little bit careful there. I think I forgot to mention that I found 40 emeralds. Like That's one of the main reasons why I came down here, and I forgot to mention it. But yeah, I got 40 overall, which I think is pretty decent. I'm going to start clearing all this stuff up, and I'm going to head back to the base. I think I'm going to keep the iron blocks here, but I'm going to take the beacon because I'm quite low on them at the moment. So the next time I come down here, I'll just set the beacon up again. And then I'll dig out more in that direction and more in that direction. Now that I've finished with that, I've come back over here to the base. And I think I mentioned this earlier in the episode. But what I want to do is finish the checklist room in here. So it's pretty much just the roof that needs to be finished. But I also need to move this wall back by a few blocks. And then I can fit in another column of chest on each side. And that's where I'm going to be storing the new items because there's just not enough room in these other chests at the moment to add all of the new items to them. So I'm going to add a few more columns of chests and then I can put all the new items in there and then check them off the checklist as I collect them. I'm also thinking about adding some of the new items into some of the current chests. So for example, one that comes to mind straight away is in the mob drops, there is a ink sack. And in the new update, there was a glow ink sack. I think it should be in this chest right here. So yeah, what I could do, because this is technically a mob drop, I could just add this to the current checklist and put it in here next to the ink sack. So I might go through all the blocks and see what kind of chest they fit into. Like also the deep slate ores, I could put them into the ores chest here. So I just need to think about that and consider where everything's going to go. And then if there's any new blocks that don't really fit into any of these categories, 
those are going to go into the new column of chests that I'm going to be making in about five minutes. So I think I'm just going to get straight to work on this. It's going to be a little bit annoying because there's the ocean directly above this. So the water and the sand is just going to keep falling down. And that's one of the main reasons that I didn't complete the roof in the last episode. So what I'm going to do first is move this wall back by a few blocks. And then I'm going to add the extra columns of chests on each side. And then I'll finish all of the roof in here. And I mentioned this in the last episode. I actually want to switch out all of the stone bricks for some of the deep slate blocks in here. I'm not entirely sure which one I'm going to use yet. But I'll probably just test them all out and then see which one looks the best. I've made a little bit of progress here. And this project still isn't 100% finished. But it's pretty close now. So you can see that I've got some of the new deep slate blocks in the roof. And I actually really like how this looks. I was going to try and put some here as well, but when I tested it out in the creative world, it just looked a little bit too dark. I still don't like the stone bricks there, I think I might change it out for maybe andesite or something like that. I'm probably going to mess around with a few different blocks and just see which one looks the best. But I kind of like how it looks with all the dark blocks in the middle, and then having some lighter blocks around the outside. I just don't think that stone bricks are the right block for this. So I'll probably just change these in between episodes. I'll test out a few different blocks and see which one looks the best. But so far I'm really liking how this room's coming along. Of course I've still got the two side rooms to do at some point as well. I'll probably get to that pretty soon. And into the other room you can see that I've finished this as well here. So I moved this wall back and then I've got an extra column of chests on each side. I've also completed the roof. It is a lot of andesite. I'm thinking about changing a few of the blocks. Because there's andesite on the floor as well, and then just loads of andesite on the roof. Maybe that wasn't the best decision. I might change that, I'm not entirely sure. But I like the roof design in general, just I think the blocks might be a bit wrong. But at least it's the finished roof now, it's better to look at than what it was like before with all of the dirt and then the stone. But the problem is, as you can see here, there's water directly above some of the area over here. So I keep getting little water droplets dropping down, there's an one there. I definitely want to fix that, so I'll probably have to go ahead and go above and just put loads of dirt around to stop the water from dripping through. It's not really a big deal, but I just want to get rid of that as soon as possible. And one more thing I did in here is I added the emerald ore to the checklist. So before I had this paper, I just put the emerald in there. I do actually have the emerald blocks and the emeralds, but they're over at the villager trading area. I can't really be bothered going over there right now. But I'll check them off pretty soon. And then I've just got to focus on getting all of the netherite and the diamond stuff. And I did say that I was going to get all of the new 1.17 blocks together and then add them to the checklist. And that's the main reason why I extended the checklist out a little bit. Just for some of the new blocks in here. But I'm actually not going to be able to do that in today's episode. I didn't quite realise how many different blocks there were. There's actually a llama in my storage room. So of course there's all the deep slate blocks and then the new ores and stuff as well. And then there's like the iron and the gold and the copper. And there's actually loads of different kinds of copper blocks. Because there's the regular stuff that looks like this. And then I think this is like copper bricks or something like that. And then if you leave this out it starts going a little bit green. And then if you leave it out a little bit longer it starts going more green. So it's like copper in real life. I think there's like four or five stages of that. And then all of those have stair blocks. And then um, slabs as well. Then I think there's also um, something else. So I just quickly looked it up. Um, if you add some honey, I think it's honeycomb to some of the copper blocks. That means it's waxed or something like that. And that way it doesn't turn green over time. So if I got this and added some honey to it, that means it would stay like that forever. And then if I got this stuff, which is already a little bit green, I'm not sure what this is called. Exposed copper. So if I got that and added some honeycomb to it, it would stay like that forever and it wouldn't get more and more green over time. So there's actually loads and loads of different blocks and types of the copper. It's going to take so long to get all of that, that I'm not going to be able to do it in today's episode. And then of course there's a few blocks I don't even have yet, like the spyglass and then the crystals and stuff. I think there's also tinted glass, probably some other stuff that I'm forgetting about. So there's just so many items and so many blocks that I'm not going to be able to get them all in today's episode. So I've had a little bit of a change of plan to end off today's video. 
So I've got some stuff together here. You can probably tell what I'm gonna be building with this. I'm gonna get this, then I'm gonna head over to the farming district, then I'm gonna add another farm. I'm over here in the farming district, and I've already laid out where this farm's gonna go. The farm itself is actually only gonna be quite small. It's gonna be like four blocks by three blocks here. But all of the other outside things are just gonna be a little bit of decoration. So I'm hoping afterwards I can make it look good. I've got a few plans, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to turn out though. But let's see if we can just build this thing by memory, because I've built this a few times before. It's actually not my design though, so I will leave a link to the tutorial down in the description if anyone wants to copy that. So I'll start off with this thing here, this is where the dirt's going to go. And I need to put a full block there, and this is where the water's going to go, so I'm going to get a half slab, and then a water bucket. Put the half slab there, and then the water on top. I think next up I can put the dispensers down, so I'm going to put one on each side and I also need to put one above the water, so I'll put a block there for now and then the dispenser, I think I can actually break this block I'll break that there and I'm actually going to put a lever on here and that will just stop the block from going up and down and making all that noise and I think next up I can put an observer coming out of that redstone block just like that and the final few steps, I need a repeater here facing into the back of this dispenser and then a repeater on top of the dispenser as well and if I come underneath here I need a dispenser facing down just like that and this is where the other water bucket's going to go I think that's pretty much the farm complete of course I do need to hoe this land so I can actually plant things there so I got a bit of bone meal in each of these and I've got one carrot so I'm going to turn this on and then just start planting the carrots you can see straight away I've got 8 now and I'll 10 so it does go up quite fast. I don't think this is the most efficient one of these ever, but because I get a lot of bone meal from the mob farm, it's quite easy to get a lot of carrots and all of the rest of the crops pretty easily. So this is the design that I've gone for. So like I said, all I've got to do now is decorate the place. And I did bring over some spruce blocks and also some oak. These are the main blocks that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to start decorating this and then I'll come back and show you what I've come up with. So this is the design that I've gone for. It's like a little farmer's hut in the middle and then I've got all of the crops planted around the outside. So the beetroot here, or is it rhubarb? I think it's beetroot. And then I've got the wheat, and then on this side, the potatoes here, and then the carrots in the back. They're not fully grown yet, but if I spend time in the area, they'll all grow eventually. And I'm not gonna harvest any of these, I'm just gonna keep them as decoration. And then through the middle, I've got the gate, just a little pathway leading up to the centre then this is where I'm going to stand to get all the crops I do like how this thing turned out, I think it's quite nice now what I'm going to do now is head over to the storage room and I've been using this farm and I managed to get all of these items and blocks together so I'm going to head back to the storage room and I'm going to check a few more items off the checklist ok so back over at the base the llama's still walking around here for some reason I'm not really sure where the other one is but I've got all these items that I'm going to quickly check off the checklist. So most of these just go in the food chest. So I'm going to get all of these and then put them in here. I'm pretty sure I've already got one of each. So if I put the rest in, there should be a stack of each of those items. I've actually just realised that the hay bales don't go in this chest. They go into a different one. And the poisonous potatoes, I don't have a stack of them yet. It's going to take quite a while until I get a stack of them. So I've got three at the moment, but I will come back at some point and then put the rest in there. And the hay bales actually go in the random blocks chest over here. So I've already got one of them and I put the other 63 in there. And that's a stack of hay bales. And the final thing to check off goes in the redstone chest. And that is the target blocks. So I've got 64 of them now. And if you don't know how to craft these, you need one hay bale and four redstone dust. So that's why I've checked them off today because I've got all of the hay bales obviously. So it was easy to craft these, so I've checked them off the checklist. But I've actually run out of time to record for today's episode. Uh, it's Friday currently, I've spent quite a lot of time recording it, even though it might not be that long. I do try to upload my videos on Saturday, but I'm not going to be able to do that this week, because England are playing Scotland tonight in the Euros, and I'm going to watch that, and that's usually when I would be editing my videos. So this video is going to be uploaded on Sunday instead of Saturday. I hope people don't mind too much that it's a little bit late, but I'm still getting a video out every week at the moment, so I hope people are happy about that. 
So yeah, I need to wrap up recording here and I'm going to start getting ready to go out to watch the football. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time.